me why someone would want to do that. It don't make sense. It's very scary. You can't even freaking go to work anymore. People running for the exits, a SWAT team bearing down, a gunman taking his own life inside a Ford plant. We're learning more about what led to a disgruntled employee bringing a gun to work, then killing himself at Ford Woodhaven stamping plant this morning. We have team coverage tonight on this tragedy. We'll begin with 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel at the plant. Brian, police say this was all over some sort of labor dispute. <sighs> That's correct. Jacoby Hennings, he was a temporary worker since March here at the plant and witnesses that we talked to said he showed up late for work this morning and seemingly under the influence of something. He was sent home an hour and a half later. Police got the call just after nine this morning. There's an active shooter at the Woodhaven stamping plant, I-75 and West Road. Inside Ford's Woodhaven stamping plant, Jacoby Hennings, a 21 year old part timer who came to work with a handgun all 350 employees evacuated. There was a labor relation issue. As police approached the gunman, he fired a single shot inside a second floor UAW office. He one shooter down from a self-inflicted gunshot. He has a bag near his body they're suspicious about. They're requesting MSP, uh, bomb squad, EOD to respond. While nervous employees waited outside, SWAT cleared the rest of the plant and ruled out the suspicious package. It was a backpack, no explosives. One threat, the threat is down. We're finishing clearing the building, but for the for callers and witnesses, he is the only threat. Questions still unanswered. How was Hennings able to bring in a gun? You got security right there, and you got the, the, the guard check. You, you got to go through a turnstile. But basically, they check bags. So there's not metal detectors that you're walking through? No, no. Now, we've been talking with some of Henning's co-workers who say they are shaken, but not surprised by what happened. Why? That's tonight at 6. For now, reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, thank you for that live report. Let's go to 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden, who spoke with some of those frightened workers inside that plant. And given all that's happened lately, that had to have been terrifying for them. It definitely was, Steve. And I can tell you right now that this is all happening all over right here. Behind me, this is where it started. Now, from what we know so far, the plan is closed, but they do have grievance counselors inside. Now, the man I spoke to today is an employee here. He actually says that he knows the worker who actually shot himself, and he says this all comes as a shock. Station 11, Station 18, I have reports of an active shooter at the Ford stamping plant. My chairman came running down and said, Lenny, drop everything, run. There's a gunner in the, in the building. And right then I just, I just freaked. So I'm started getting out of there on my high low and everything. And I'm telling everyone that's by me, run. Leonard Campbell works at the stamping plant and says this all started when 21 year old Jacoby Hennings, the shooter, came into work early this morning. I saw the guy walk in. He didn't look right to me for some reason. The boss said, you know, you late, just go on home. That's what I understood. So the boss walked him back out. He says it was an hour and a half later when his boss told them to run. There's no shots fired. He's barricaded in the UAW office, second floor, unknown on guns. He went into the back, security bolted out of the office. I was scared to death. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I was worried. And there was people hugging and crying and that. We was all scared. We didn't know what was going on. Okay, one threat, the threat is down. Employees later learned Henning took his life control these guns that people are getting so damn easy, excuse my language, but it makes me mad. Ford released a statement saying our deepest condolences go out to the family, friends and co-workers of the Woodhaven stamping plant employee who lost his life at the plant today. Grief counselors are on site and production is canceled for the remainder of the day. A job ain't worth it. If you're going to get fired or something, no job is worth taking your life. And local representatives have already started responding to this incident, many of them saying that they thank the first responders for their quick action. Naya Hardin, 7 Action News. All right, Naya, thank you for that report. You can see a timeline of just how the Ford plant shooting unfolded from beginning to end. It's on our homepage at our website, wxyz.com. Heather? Stephen.